Motorola has been doing a good job recently of making great smartphones that won't cost you the earth. Its latest effort is this, the Moto E. Let's investigate. So let's start with the basics, the design. This isn't a smartphone Goliath like the Galaxy Note 3. It's not huge. It's actually quite compact. Uh, it's not the slimmest phone I've ever seen, but it does feel quite nice. It feels quite sturdy. I like these curves around the back. It feels quite nicely designed. If white's not your style, it does come in a bunch of other colors as well, so it is slightly customizable. This is a 4.3 inch display. It has a 960 by 540 pixel resolution. Now, that's not especially high. Uh, there are smartphones out there with higher resolutions, but it looks all right to me. I've seen more luxurious screens, but bear in mind that this is quite a cheap phone. I think it'll handle the basics like email, Facebook, uh, just fine. Inside, there's a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor that's backed up by one gigabyte of RAM. Again, not the most powerful tech specs, but it doesn't feel that slow. Moving around the home screens and surfing around Android, it feels quite slick. Rounding things off is a five megapixel camera on the back. Now, as you can probably tell, this isn't the most powerful phone out there, but one thing that is great is that it has the most recent version of Android. That's Android version 4.4.2, also known as KitKat, and it's great to see a more modest mobile like this getting access to cutting-edge software. So finally, what about the all-important price? Well, this thing is going to cost around $130 off contract in the US and £89 in the UK. So it is cheap, but is it good value? We'll find out more in the full review, so stay tuned. Check out CNET.com for more. I'm Luke Westray, and this is the Motorola Moto E.